Hey guys, we've only got like three weeks left for our project. What are we gonna do? I've been thinking, what about Wales? Nah. nah. Hey guys, how about Good Island? Cape Rodney, Tokakari Point, otherwise known as Goat Island, is a marine reserve that protects the species of fish and marine life within its boundaries of 9.3 square kilometres. Goat Island is located an hour north of the city of Sales, near a town known as Lee. Because it is so close to Auckland, it is often used as an outdoor classroom. There is an institute for marine science and a learning centre for kids and adults to discover more about marine life at Goat Island. For more answers, we asked marine biologist and movie maker Peter Crabb. My name's Pete, Pete Crabb's my name, and I'm a marine scientist and also an underwater filmmaker and I do all the audio visual equipment. The most conspicuous fish in the marine reserve would have to be the, of course, the snapper, and then after that green wrasse, goatfish, triple fins. If you're wondering how Goat Island got its name, well, it got its name because about 120 years ago, most travelling was done by boat. So fishermen and boaties needed a place to put livestock when they got marooned. They put the livestock on small islands, but most of the livestock died off, except for the pigs. But it's not called Pig Island, is it? No, it's called Goat Island. The reason for that is because small islands were, that were used to hold livestock were called Goat Island. Goat Island was declared a marine reserve in 1975 because in the 1950s spear fishermen came from Auckland to catch as many fish as their bags could carry. By the 1960s most of the crayfish, snapper and pearl had almost no population left in this area. So they declared it New Zealand's first marine reserve. The marine reserve covers 5 kilometres of coastline and extends out into the ocean 800 metres. When including the island itself the total area equals 9.3 kilometers. The marine reserve is helping species of fish survive by not allowing people to catch the marine life and letting all the species live out a good healthy life unharmed by the public. The only thing that the fish may be frightened of are the public snorkelers and underwater photographers, but the local marine life doesn't seem to be bothered by them. If marine reserves didn't exist, many species of fish would have dwindling numbers, and before we know it, we may not have the great marine ecosystem that we have now, all because of the marine reserves in New Zealand. Also, they are very important to the underwater ecosystem all over the world. So come on up to Go Island and see it for yourself. The kids will be begging you to come back next weekend. Yeah!